old bastard so far away. We haven't been together since the World Cup, which is now over three months, so really we're just trying to prepare and, and revise what we were doing beforehand, uh, get the group back together and get some of that chemistry going again so we can really, you know, it's really a starting point for us this week and, and you know, in the coming months we'll be looking to build on what we set up this week. We've got a short preparation time before the Olympic Games qualifiers and, and that's really the big picture. We've got, you know, till the end of February to prepare this team and, and that's going to be difficult with the W League in between as well. So yeah, look, we just can't wait to get back into it and that's why this week's been really good. Yeah, good result is qualifying. <laughs> that's really the first priority. That's difficult. Uh, you know, at the World Cup we had the group of death, but qualifying for Rio is just as tough. Uh, you know, in our group there's six countries, uh, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, China and Vietnam and us. And out of those, you know, that's five countries in the top 15 in the world, um, you know, and three in the top 10. So it's not easy and only two get to qualify. So Asia's without doubt the strongest confederation in the world um, in terms of women's football. So for us qualifying is, is almost harder than when you actually get there. A good body shape, straight balls, it's very hard for us to go forward. If we get there. You know, whichever country gets there from Asia, you know, will be in medal contention. So whether it's us or Japan or China or North Korea um, or South Korea, whoever gets there from Asia is certainly a medal contender. And, you know, I certainly see this team, if we can grow and improve from the World Cup, there's no reason we, why we can't be competing for medals at this Olympics and the next World Cup. OK, so I'm not saying don't play them, but slightly discouraged play. You know, it's... It's the best facility in, in Australia, you know, with the, you know, the training fields, you know, the food and um, the accommodation. It's just everything supplied, and it just makes it so much easier to, you know, access everything. So it's it's been great. I, well, I was just talking to a, a manager about it, and we want all our camps to be here because it's just so much easier to, for what we need. Two thousand seven was sort of a stepping stone. Uh, people started to because we got into the quarterfinals for sort the of first time. So from then on, it started to get a bit of publicity. But obviously, the uh, the World Cup in Canada has just sort of gave us a bit more of a status. So it's great that you know the public got behind us because that's what you need, especially for the young girls who have Snapchats and Instagram and all that social media, which I don't. It sort of gives them that bit of you know encouragement and, um, and belief in themselves to go out and perform. I can see in four years' time um, with the group we have and the interest in women's football, uh, it's going to be massive. 